Tonight we're getting brand new details in a story we have been following all month. The tragic murder of a beloved photographer based in D.C., Joe Shemansky. Shemansky was a prolific artist with some high profile clients. He was behind these whimsical Star Wars Lego prints you may have seen before. Shemansky was reported missing from his Calvert County home over Labor Day weekend and police say they found his remains up in Pennsylvania. Tonight our Casey Nolan has updates on the accused killer and what comes next in this case. Joe Shemansky was known for his photography and, friends say, his devotion to his kids. Sources close to the case tell WUSA 9 on Labor Day, Shemansky's ex-wife showed up at his Calvert County, Maryland home to drop off their children as part of their custody agreement. But the ex-wife told investigators Joe was nowhere to be found and reported him missing. Sources say after interviewing the ex-wife, investigators ran a search on vehicles scanned by a license plate reader here at the county line and found Brandon Holbrook's white truck had recently passed by. And investigators say Holbrook was in a relationship with Shemansky's ex. From there, Calvert County Sheriff's deputies got a warrant to search Holbrook's Reedsville, Pennsylvania home nearly four hours away and say they found enough evidence there to arrest him and charge him with murder. Investigators say they later found Shemansky's remains near a creek not far from Holbrook's home. While police have not confirmed how Shemansky was killed, WUSA 9 has learned the local coroner in Pennsylvania had to resort to dental records for a positive identification. Holbrook, behind bars in Pennsylvania since his arrest in early September, is not fighting his extradition, according to court officials. Sources say he is expected to be back in Calvert County's custody by the end of the week. If Holbrook is back in Calvert County this week, I'm told he could have his first court appearance there Monday or possibly even this Friday. And at that point, we should know more about the evidence investigators used to get the warrant to search Holbrook's home. Yeah, and Casey, we know that Holbrook and Joe's ex-wife had some sort of romantic relationship. And right now, a lot of people are asking if she's a suspect. So what have you learned about this? Well, from talking to investigators in both states, you get the sense that with like any case, they're not ready to rule out anything at this point in the investigation. But they're also quick to say it was the ex-wife who first reported him missing and then stayed in Calvert County with a neighbor to cooperate with investigators in the first couple of days when they were still looking mm. for Joe. Okay, Casey, we know you'll stay on top of it. Thank yeah. you.